This is the S120 Wallite Cam from Eufy Security. Not only does it have a security camera built into this, it also has a security light, as you can see here, and it does not require power to operate. The way it works is it has a solar panel on the top here that will recharge this whole thing with as little as two hours of sunlight exposure per day, which means you can put this anywhere it gets sun and you will have a worry-free security solution. And then I mentioned how good this looks outside of your house. You can put this pretty much anywhere and this is going to look right at home and very natural. If you're worried about other security solutions that typically look a little bit out of place, you do not have that concern with this. But wait, there's more. So in this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into the features of this, we'll talk about the pros and cons, and then also who this is for and what some other alternatives might be if this happens to not fit your needs exactly. Now, Eufy did send me this for review. However, with all my review videos, I wanna make sure to present all of the information you need to make an informed decision yourself. You can install this thing pretty much anywhere you want to. You could put this on the front of your house. You could put this on the back of your house. You could install it on your deck. You could even install it on your fence if you want to. You just have to make sure it has sunlight exposure of at least two hours per day and that it can communicate with your Wi-Fi router in your house. Now, I don't know where you would install your camera, but for me, I have one of these installed in the front of my house that picks up a lot of motion when it comes to cars and people walking by on the sidewalk. Now, you can tell it to only record and detect motion when it detects a human, so that means it would reject any vehicle traffic and things like that, which is really cool by itself, but you can take it a step further and have it fence off only those specific areas that you want it to record. So that means you can have it reject anything like traffic from a road or people walking by on a sidewalk and only have it capture the people that are coming into your driveway or on your front porch, for example. Another option you have with this is to set something called privacy zones. So privacy zones allow you to black out certain areas of the video which is a really great feature if this happens to be put in an area where it's recording like say your neighbor's house or maybe even inside of a neighbor's window, you can black out that specific portion of the video so you can be sure this is only capturing security events that happen on your property and the things that you really wanna see. Whenever motion is detected, you'll get a notification on your phone and you can either check out that footage live or wait and check out the recording later on. You can even set it in the app to only notify you if it detects human activity and not just any motion in general. The camera also has traditional night vision so it can illuminate the area that you're trying to film at night. This camera can also record in color at night so you're gonna pick up additional details that a lot of traditional security cameras would miss because that infrared look just kind of makes everything blend together whereas color night vision allows you to pick out different colors like the colors of someone's clothes and even the color of someone's car that other traditional security cameras would miss. Now both the camera and the light are motion activated and you can change how sensitive they are as well as how long the camera records in the settings of the app. So in the app, you've got a couple of different default settings when it comes to recording length that you can choose here. You can even customize it to your own liking and you can also pick and choose how sensitive it is to any motion that comes across the camera. The camera is a 2K HD camera, and I find that 2K, when it comes to security cameras, is the perfect balance between quality and clarity, as well as the file sizes. This has eight gigabytes of built-in storage. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but it actually is because of that 2K video that it records to. It actually helps maximize your storage space, and it also helps that you can set how long it records when it detects motion. So you can have it set to record for 15 seconds or 45 seconds or somewhere in between depending on what your preferences are. So between those options and depending on how much activity you see at your house, that eight gigabytes is plenty of storage space I found in, in my experiences. And according to Eufy in energy savings mode, that eight gigabytes of onboard storage will land you about 60 days worth of recordings. Now, if you want to expand that storage beyond that, you'll have to get another device called the Homebase 3. Now, the Homebase 3 is a way to integrate all of your security devices from Eufy Security and record to a centralized location. So you can actually expand this Homebase up to 16 terabytes worth of data storage. So if you have a lot of different cameras around your house and you want to record a lot of footage, if that's really one of your big goals, you can certainly do that but you'll need to purchase an additional Homebase 3 in order to make that happen. Another thing I wanna point out is that this will record directly to the light. It does not have to have internet access or cloud access in order to be able to store the video footage to the internet, which has two advantages. One, if your Wi-Fi network happens to go down, this will still record security footage onto the light itself. And two, it helps keep your data safe because your data is not automatically uploaded to the cloud. You are in control of where your information lives. 
and local storage means no monthly fee. As far as the light's concerned, it's a 300 lumen light, which will provide plenty of light for any area outside your house. And you can even adjust how bright it is in the app. So if you don't want it to say blind your neighbors, or if you want to make sure you're maximizing your solar power, you can dim this as much or as little as you want. The color temperature of the light is 4000K, which is right in between the extremes of really blue light and really warm or that yellowish light. So 4000K I think strikes a good balance. Now I would have liked to see an adjustment inside the app to be able to tweak this a little bit depending on what your needs are, but at the same time 4000K I think especially for the use case for this light is a really good selection. This is about seven inches wide, a little bit less than that, and about five inches tall. And as you can see here, the way this is set up, this angle, um, this is designed for the top here to get all the solar light, the sunlight that it can through the solar panel, and then also provide the perfect angle going down in order to capture all the video with the camera and also to light up the area with this light. So this is a really cool design. And as far as installing it's concerned, it's a really easy process too, which we'll talk about here in a second. This has a lot of other features too that are pretty technical. I know that's gonna interest some of you, but there's a lot of people that are just gonna find that boring. So I'm gonna have that up on the screen here in a chart that you can feel free to pause the video and check this out for as long as you'd like. Now, as I mentioned before, the solar panel is all that it needs to stay fully charged with as little as two hours of sunlight per day. Now that sunlight has to be direct sunlight, however. That means that you cannot mount this underneath an eave, for example, where this is always going to be shaded, or mount this in a location where there's, say, a shadow from a tree that's always falling on this. It has to have direct sunlight exposure in order to be able to fully charge. So that is something that you definitely have to keep in mind when looking at where you should place this. As far as the construction and the durability of this is concerned, this is fully plastic with the exception of a couple of minor areas like the lens on the front and also these rubber buttons on the back. Other than that, this is a fully plastic device. However, I wouldn't let that concern you because this is rated for IP65. Now, if you're not familiar, IP65 is a rating that helps determine how waterproof and how weatherproof uh, electronic devices are in the outside elements. And IP65 is a really good rating. I'll leave a chart that explains exactly what that is here. But as you can see, IP65 ranks really high when it comes to external devices. So because of that, I wouldn't have any concerns about mounting this in any location around your home. Uh, even if you live in an area that has some extreme weather conditions, like if you live in an area that gets a lot of rain, for example, I wouldn't be concerned about this being exposed to that all the time. As far as installation is concerned, it comes with this bracket that you can install on your house and you just need to install three screws into these holes and then this light simply attaches onto this bracket. So once this bracket's in place, it's a really easy setup process. You just need to hook this into the bracket and then install the set screw at the bottom to make sure it's permanently attached to your house. And yes, all the mounting hardware and screws are included. Another thing you need to keep in mind when installing this is to install it at a height of about six and a half feet all the way up to a little over eight feet high. And the reason for that is you wanna be able to maximize the field of view for the camera and also the motion detection zone. So so between these two height ranges, about six and a half feet to a little over eight feet, it says 8.2 feet. That's going to maximize the efficiency of your S120 wall light cam. Now, if you're looking for a wired solution or if you're looking something to combine with this, say to replace some wired lights and to have some supplementary solar powered lights in different areas, then Eufy also makes an S100 light that you can install as a replacement to an existing porch light, for example. So the S100 is a wired option. It's kind of the sister product to the S120. It's just that the S100 is wired and the S120 is solar powered. The S100 also offers some additional features like being able to change the color of the lights and the light are actually in fact a lot brighter. It's 1200 lumens versus 300 lumens. Now I have done another video on the S100 so if you're interested in that as well I'll have a link in the description that you can use to go and check that video out as well. So all in all I think this is a really great solution from Eufy. The only reason I wouldn't go with this is if I was looking for something that would record 24-7. Uh, this is only going to record events that it detects so if you want something to record all the time this is not going to be the right choice for you. Uh, Eufy does have some other products that do record 24 by seven, uh, but that is not this. This is really designed to provide some additional security at locations of your home where you typically couldn't install this to provide not only the video surveillance footage, but also provide some additional lighting as well. So if you're looking to add a camera to your house and you have that problem where you really don't have power where you want to put a camera or put some additional lighting, this I think is the perfect choice. If you're interested in picking up one or more of these, I'll have a link in the video description below where you can go and check this out at its current price. Sometimes I have promotional codes from Eufy, and if I do, that link will give you that discount, or I might have a discount code listed next to the link as well. So be sure to check out the description to be able to get this at its current best price.
Be sure to check out the other video I have on the Eufy S100 wired camera as well. Otherwise, I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.